Yo, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series Straight from Busy Home Beats. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to balance your mix. I mean, balance your vocals um, with your melody. Yeah. So for this song, it's a cover song which I made it, um, beat, um, the melodies and everything myself. And the guy just actually performed um, the vocals. And it's a cover. Um, it's in Ghanaian language three. So if you don't understand the language, just go with the flow and how it feels. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to balance your mix. So I'll just play some part of the vocals for you. And I'll also play the backings for you. Yeah, everything so that you get to understand it. So let's just listen to this part to um where the where is it? Yes, to where the backings and everything is. So let's listen, then I'll just break everything down for you guys. Yeah, so that's the song, yeah. And uh, you can actually tell that it's playing nice and clean, right? Yes, the vocalist actually did well by performing it well. So that it makes mixing easy for us. Rather than just doing anything, recording very bad vocals and thinking about fixing it. That one mm, is always stressful. So let me just play the beat for you and show you how I did everything um, for you to balance. So let me just do yes, as of loop this part let me play it for you so what i have on it is this guy here so first of all what i did on this one is um i just um push um the separation knob down here around 50 percent to get this kind of stereo feel yes i wanted to create some spaces for the others to enter so um, i didn't use eq or reverb on it on this one i just used the you can just use a uh, imager to i mean get this kind of feel yes so by me i just use this one here which has been done in fl studio already to separate the sound you understand it yes So this is the chord progression and I added this um, guitar uh, which is being my lead and for that one I EQ'd it um, low ends and um, I also put a reverb on it and these are the settings for the reverb. So if you listen to both the chord and the, um, the lead here, this is how it sounds. Okay, this is not the lead, this is the piano. Sorry, this is the piano and um, this is how it sounds. And the next thing is this guy here. So this one plays through the whole song. Right? These are the things that I actually have on it. I have EQ, EQ in the low ends for um, the bass and the chorus bass to actually pass through there. I have my reverb also trying to create spaces for um, the other sounds, you understand? And the delay just to give it some, yeah, first some portals in the songs. Yeah, so. Without the delay, this how it sounds. So with the delay on it, it actually fills some portals in the song. You understand? So let me just play the three of them and listen to how it sounds. So 
so you can actually tell i did gain stage it on this um place um channel 22 so this guy i did lower the volume here that's why you can actually tell that the meter it is really playing really low you understand and this guy here was added can see i just have reverb on it so it's all about your gain staging i did the gain staging most of them here right so coming here you could actually see that i didn't push any of the knob here really um tight yes i didn't push it too much you get it just small small ones just to balance it more yeah so i would say gain staging is always the key then the others are just to give some spaces for the other frequencies to enter you understand and the sound And without the reverb, this is how it will sound. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so reverb to give it some space, and yes, reverb will always help uh, helps us in um, giving some space to other frequencies to enter. So understand your reverb working well with you, and you gain staging, your panning, and everything. Understand all those things. Try to practice, and you'll be well with it. With your mixing, it's not about EQ compressing, and or there's no. Uh, mainly about those things it's all about how your sound is there's no rules in this kind of thing here uh, so there's the bass so there's the meter for the bass around um 18 to 15 there so that was all what i did for the um, instrument here then for the vocals as usual first of all this is what i have I have um my auto tune on it and um I have my C1 gate on it just to block the background noises when you understand. Yes, yeah, so return speed of fifteen and um I humanize it around forty one. So for the processing let me just solo it and you listen to this guy alone. So if I solo all these ones then show you the EQ then the compressor. So these are the settings for the EQ and the compressor. I have to take away some background uh, bad frequencies out and compress it around it. So this is the settings for the compressor. Yeah. Fast attack of and slow release, you understand? So this is how it plays. Yeah, so with the EQ and compressor on it, that's how it sounds. And um, I have to de it, take away some semblances. I just wanted to have bright vocals, so I boosted the high ends um, around 1 dB. Yes, the 10 hertz, I boosted it around 1 dB. I put this uh, Asphalt Vintage Exciter on this, and I push it around 4.03 it sounded cool for me so with this once on a day how it sounds now so what how they say now so sad yeah to a been to a be done now you understand so i still wanted to have this kind of um bright so i saturated it around um 30 not too much choosing the warm tip yeah you can go ahead and just do practical with it and see how your own sound i was getting some semblances um so i added um this ds i wanted just to take away those bad um sizzle sounds and yes harshness in it and i added this compressor just to i mean level everything and add some color to it you understand so overall this is what we are having now so what how they say now so sad yeah to a been to a be done now or kuni mwa ye din neswene da swo so for the reverb it's a reverb send that i actually did so we have this guy over here uh, let me just show you the reverb that i use i use this reverb here so i choose hall and um pre delay of 20.0 then time is three three yes then that's all i did on this and this is how it sounds on the so 
So I chose around minus 10 and it sounded uh, cool with me for um, when I played the beat and the vocals. It sounded cool for me around this, um, yes, around this negative 10. And the delay to is minus 15.4. I added double like, just to get some stereo feel and you if you have been following me you would know I've explained this um into details as I've been doing all this tutorial. So today I'm just trying to brush things for you guys and so if you want to just you can watch my previous videos and you can understand all this thing better rather than um yes. So this I'm just trying to show you how to balance it and everything. You understand? Okay. So with the vocals and the beat it sounded cool and dope. That's how it goes. So you can tell that this compressor here actually levels everything else for us. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And for the background vocals, it's the same processing, but just that I added um I added an image just to get the stereo feel after panning them both left and right. So 1.40 for the image. Then the, um, the same reverb, um, delay, double, and also a st studio chorus from Cubase here. Yes. Let me just show you the studio chorus from Cubase. You can use any chorus for your own self. So I chose the chorus part, and that's what I. I actually use on uh, both the lead and the backings, but the backings alone, which if you solo it, that's how it sounds. Okay, so that is that. Thank you. If you learn anything, subscribe, thumbs up for me, and your time was never wasted. I guess. So it's a working series straight from Busy Home BTS and I'm out.